Hi guys. Okay, March 6, 2019. This is your Venezuela update. Did you hear what John Bolton said? If you haven't, listen. As broad a coalition as we can put together to replace Maduro, to replace the whole corrupt regime. Look, in American hypocrisy, we should clean up our own corruption in our government. Ew, the stench of it, it's really getting pretty sickening. This administration, uh, we're not afraid to use the phrase Monroe Doctrine. This, this is a country in our hemisphere. It's been the objective of American presidents going back to Ronald Reagan to have a completely democratic hemisphere. Okay, it's the objective. Uh, using the Monroe Doctrine, please, it is used to invade other countries. You know, the original intent of the Monroe Doctrine, James Monroe, who, uh, when was it, in 18... 23, James Monroe, taking a stand against the colonization by European nations, hands off in the Western Hemisphere, hands off in the America, uh, the America's Hemisphere, so that we can colonize, so that we can invade. Uh, you know, oh God, this guy, I just so wish that Americans would take a step back and take a look at our crazy, murderous goons, thugs, uh, the evil animals, you know, that we claim other leaders are. Could you please just consider that maybe we are the evil thugs? Because we are. Um, well, that Monroe Doctrine. Russian Foreign Minister stated that Bolton's Monroe Doctrine remark on Venezuela is an insult to the entire region. Oof, God, I don't even like looking at that guy's face. Russia, China have invested quite a lot in Venezuela. Um, you think they're just going to allow the United States to take military action? Uh, well, they might be in cahoots to start World War III over United States stealing the oil in Venezuela, but I don't think so. You know, they have been failing. They have been failing once again. Juan Guaido, well, please uh, subscribe to Florida McKee if you have not. And I'm going to play just a few minutes of this video right here. This individual realizes the absolute ridiculousness of the fool's errand that he's on. This whirlwind tour of South America that he just got done completing has had absolutely no effect whatsoever on anyone believing who is in charge of Venezuela. He has received some absolutely devastating, devastating news today. And I think this is probably going to spell the end of, at least as far as he's concerned, regime change efforts in Venezuela. The UN High Commissioner on Human Rights from Chile, Michelle Bachelet, has cordially accepted an invitation from Nicolas Maduro, the president of Venezuela, to tour Caracas and see the effects of the crippling sanctions coming out of Washington, D.C. That is what has destroyed Venezuela. Uh, but it's you, you will see in other videos that I'm going to show you. Uh, well, a whole lot of Venezuelans are doing quite well. Now... I want to say what I'm concerned about is that they are, they're, they're not uh, successful in recognizing Juan Guaido as the president and his tour of Latin America to get support. Uh, don't think that he got much support. And the United Nations High Commissioner recognized or accepted an invitation by Maduro well, she's recognizing Maduro as the president. So, but what does this mean with the United Nations High Commissioner going in to investigate 
Um, not much, unfortunately. We've had United Nations high commissioners go in and investigate the, the chemical attacks in Syria that was under Obama. And that report showed, no, it wasn't Assad. It was the United States militants. What good did that do? We don't care about anything here. We violate international law all the time. We do not recognize reports that go against our objectives. What I'm concerned about is Trump is truly a very immature, greedy, pathological narcissist. He's just as much a nut job as these neocons. Um, and frankly, I think John Bolton has far more power than Trump. And Trump is Bolton's puppet. Um, the neocons to get into Venezuela to steal the oil. That is it. It is so obvious. So any American adult that claims that, oh, that's not it, that we are providing humanitarian aid because the Venezuelans are starving like this friggin' mm, uh, our representatives. <laughs> Unbelievable. The fact is that Venezuelans are starving in an oil-rich country. Watch this video. I'm going to play a few minutes of it in just a few minutes, but this really shows you our congressional representatives are either intentionally lying or they're morons. They, this woman should know what is happening in Venezuela. Is she just outright lying when she says this? I don't know. But she should know. You know, those who are represented uh, by this woman, don't you want to have someone who's intelligent? Well, you don't have anybody who's intelligent. These people need, we need to do a cleansing. We, we, we really do need to, uh, we, we the Americans, ma'am, do you want to just remain lost and saturated in lies, crud like this woman? Because um, that's what's happening. If you are anywhere near San Francisco on the 9th, why don't you join this uh, protest march? a march and rally against the Trump administration's effort to engineer a coup in Venezuela and a new devastating war there. The aggressive policy against Venezuela repeats the ugly pattern of wars for regime change in the oil-rich countries of Iraq and Libya, and now it's Venezuela. Get that oil, get that oil, get that oil any way we can. Trump likes to win, to get the job done. That's what concerns me about the fact that they are failing to put Juan Guaido into the presidency. Um, are we looking at a false flag soon? And then we take military action? Because that's not off the table, according to Trump. We could be. That's what is very concerning to me. That these people, they don't give a shit about anybody. They only care about their own uh, end, their own uh, objective here. And because the American people are so lost and have really been exhibiting a lack of care about what their own government does, they can just go ahead and do it, whatever the hell they want to get that oil in Venezuela. Now, if the Russians and the Chinese are not in cahoots, that that could absolutely trigger World War III. We are, you know, this guy talks about the Troika of tyranny. See, it's not just Venezuela, it's Cuba and Nicaragua as well. That's what this guy wants to do, take over all of those countries. Um, can you not see that we are the crazy evil people? We're the thugs of the world. And without any pushback from Americans, there's no telling 
what this guy Trump will do. There's a national march on the 16th, Washington, D.C. And don't leave me comments saying marches don't do any good. Okay, look, you take the action, you let go of the result. You let go of the result. You take the action because it's the right thing to do. You take the action for your own soul. You let go of the result. Now, if we had millions of people showing up on the 16th in Washington, D.C., yes, that would absolutely have an effect, and Trump might have to reconsider, you know, uh, what he has been directed to do in Venezuela, which would be a really good thing. So, uh, the eight lies, just in case you're an American who believes all of the horse shit that you get from mainstream media, you might want to click on this link and, well, challenge, you know, the beliefs that you have. The Venezuelan people have no food and shelves are bare. The U.S. only wants to send aid. Yes, we care about those starving people in Venezuela. Uh, Juan Guaido has legitimacy in declaring himself president. That would be like Nancy Pelosi declaring herself president of the United States and it being legitimate. Well, uh, how about other countries that recognize Juan Guaido? Yeah, we've got that coalition. Many countries support Guaido. Would it matter if that was genuine support and not the strong arm of the United States saying, you better go along with us. If it was genuine support, would it matter? No, because what is happening here is the invasion of a country, and that is wrong. Stealing another country's resources, their oil, is wrong and immoral, so it wouldn't even matter. Um... But this uh, Juan Guaido, all right, so <laughs> Juan Guaido, his position in Venezuela, Nancy Pelosi's position here in the United States. Nancy Pelosi says, hey, I am the president. Um, and other countries recognize that. Do you see the problem there? Wow. U.S. cares about the Venezuelan people. Yes. Just like they did with the Libyans, the Syrians, the Iranians, the Iraqis, the Afghans, the... Yeah, we care. We're so caring and compassionate. Oh, God. It just... Huh, it just makes me feel so good that I'm an American. Delusion. It's a hard thing to give up. It's a hard thing to give up. It's like an addiction. You go through a withdrawal. You just have to stop listening to your government officials, mainstream media, and you could probably withdraw from your delusion. Oh, I don't know, maybe a week. Get off the lies, America. Get off the lies, Americans. Get off the lies. Venezuela is only in the condition because of Chavez, Maduro, socialism. It's in the condition because of U.S. sanctions. We tried very hard to cripple that nation, and you know now we've imposed more sanctions. Uh, we care about the Venezuelan people. Sanctions hurt Venezuelan people. Huh. Yes, the U.S. has toppled governments worldwide, but this time it's different because Trump's in office. Sorry. Grassroots uprising against a brutal dictator. How often have we heard that? U.S. versus Russia and China. Proxy war continues. All right. Uh, let's go to the first lie that we hear from mainstream media over and over again. No food in the shelves are bare. Oh, well, I'm just going to play a few minutes of this. And what is on the plane are basic goods, things that aren't available or accessible in Venezuela, things like uh, nutritional biscuits, toothpaste, uh, toothbrushes, uh, just basic commodities that aren't available or readily available to Venezuelans right now because of the regime that they're currently living under. We're at a supermarket in Caracas called Gama. I 
feel uh, lost in the supermarket coming here in Caracas. This is cheeses, there's a lot of cheeses and meats here. People here like meat, and there's, there's a lot of meats. Fish heads, fish heads, roly poly fish heads. A lot of people love yogurt here. Here you can see something serious with the speculation is the pet food. Um, you know, pet food is here. This one costs 66,000 bolivars, uh, which is um, tw over $20. That's the problem here. The problem isn't scarcity. The problem is inflation and speculation brought on by the capitalist class of this country. Got my toilet paper. What this did you say? Help. There's a capitalist class? Okay, well, I'll show you another video. But yes, he goes through this supermarket. Wow, no food. The shelves are bare. Really? You think it's true? Do you think it's true? I don't know. It doesn't look true to me. And what did they say? Oh, there's no toothbrushes or toothpaste or... Oh, people are starving. They're starving in Venezuela in an oil-rich country. How could that possibly happen? Well, it's happening in your own head because, well, you've been indoctrinated and you love the lies. Isn't it interesting, though? Oh, the left and right and Carol, can't you see? Mainstream media, they're all uh, attacking Trump and the left is attacking Trump, but they all go along. They all go along with invading countries. Hmm, what's that about? Because there's not two parties. There's one party, one. So uh, I'll link below to all of this. And he, uh, it's these videos, he is pointing out that what you are hearing are all lies, Americans. Oh, aloe vera. Then I'll go that'll match with my toilet paper, the aloe vera. Finally found my shampoo and conditioner. It took me like a while to do that because there are so many varieties. Damn you, Maduro! We're now in the pharmacy. See if I'm the intro. Why I'll go from aloe vera and manzanilla. Oh, Pinche Maduro. No es un mercado socialista con donde hay todos gratis. No. Es un... No. It's a lie that everything is socialism in Venezuela. Yes. Okay. So, don't forget to subscribe to Florida McKee uh, and t take a look at this video. This is also the gray zone. Max Blumenthal does a great job. He's searching for the communist dictatorship at a luxury mall in Venezuela. Back in uh, Chicago, I was here a few days ago. Uh, this, this is a wealthy, wealthy area in Caracas where there was a huge opposition rally headlined by Juan Guaido to call on the Venezuelan government to allow in humanitarian aid. And people there told me that they lived in a communist dictatorship hellhole uh, with a massive humanitarian crisis. So I'm back to see it for myself. Socialists have done in Venezuela all of the same things that socialists, communists, totalitarians have done everywhere that they've had a chance to rule. The results have been catastrophic. Where are you, Trump supporters? Where are you, the quote-unquote awake Trump supporters? I'm sorry. Um, it, you know, it's not okay that you are supporting a guy who's just like the last guy, lying, psychopathic, crazy, evil thugs. That's who you are supporting. You know what? The liar is less dangerous than the acceptor of lies. Anybody who accepts lies, whether it's from mainstream media reporters, their government officials, their quote-unquote leader, or their best friend, or their mother, their father, it does not matter. When you accept the lies, you're the one who is far more dangerous because you allow the lie to live. Yeah, liars. Well, 
what they tell, the lies they tell, would die if they didn't have those who go along with it and accept it. Um, it you, you Trump supporters who quote unquote awake, you really do need to think about this support. You know, uh, where do you stand with what he is doing in Venezuela? It's <laughs> do you just accept what he's saying? Have been catastrophic. Okay, so imagine a foreigner comes to the United States and Nancy Pelosi has actually declared herself the president. And that foreigner is going through a mall in, in America. Uh, and it just so happens to be, I don't know, somewhere in California or New York. Or, uh, and a whole lot of liberal progressives live there. And that foreigner asks the Americans, which one do you support, Trump or Pelosi? What do you think they're going to respond with? Trump? No. <laughs> Okay, okay, so, so here's, here's an, an outdoor, outdoor adventure store. store. Uh, Urban front. front. What, what is this? Floors. You can get really nice floors. This, this is a security door. door. I, feel I feel safe, safe in here. here. Maduro's goons won't get me in here. here. Disculpe, a qual puerta, puerta es más uh, seguro contra face? Contra los goons uh, de Maduro. Tortas. <laughs> 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 Parece uh, muy sabroso, es sabroso. Sí. Y hay mucha gente que tiene nombre aquí. No. no. And then you have really so many others rummaging through trash, something you and I would consider unconceivable, so common wherever we saw there. I mean, even ourselves, with our limited budget, we found it often quite hard to get food, and that is so staggeringly the reason why people are so furious right now. So, anyway, what do we got? We got some really good carrot cake here, marmalade. Hola. Soy un turista de los Estados Unidos, estoy buscando por comunismo. Quiero un estilo comunista aquí. No puedes hacer un estilo comunista de Maduro. Estoy buscando por comunismo en este lugar. No hay. Gracias. Okay, okay, so, so in, in the US, US they say, say like Maduro's ruined the economy with socialism and, and I can't, can't really find any here, here. I'm gonna keep looking for it. Uh, uh, that's, that's what we constantly hear from the Republicans, Republicans but, but it seems like capitalism really is taking over and there's massive speculation. Uh, here's, here's a chocolate place, place. Let's, let's go check, check it out. Except on Efectivo, dollars. Okay. Uh, soy un turista de los Estados Unidos y escuchaba constantemente que um, Maduro destruyendo, destruyendo esta economía de socialismo. ¿Es una tienda socialista? No hay control del gobierno. Watch the last half. Very good. Very good. And this is really sad. This video. Also the gray zone. Max Blumenthal. Very, I mean, these are the people who are in Congress. These are the people who represent us. Pathetic. Meddling in Venezuela? I don't, I don't think so. I mean, we're, we're, we're the superpower in the world. We're the superpower in the world, so anything we do is right. So we're not meddling.
part of the Russian agenda is to undermine democracy, not just in our country, but in other countries as well. Isn't that what we're doing in the Middle East and Venezuela and Syria and Libya? And, 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 yeah, we undermine. No, we don't bring democracy to other countries, Americans. Please stop being so silly. We destroy other countries. Kind of like we're destroying our own country. Oh, right. <laughs> Do you, Do you think, think it would be, be uh, meddling, meddling if Russia were to declare uh, Nancy, Nancy Pelosi the president of the U.S.? I've thought about that. She's, She's not president, I'd say. I'll say that. It's a pretty <laughs> desperate situation over there, though. So they should be meddling, is what I'm saying. Um, you know, the problem is when you meddle, you can cause uh, locals to rebel against that. So uh, it's a tough call. Maduro's troop are goons went into the ghetto and decided they were going to take over. None of that happened. But this guy is a congressional representative. <gasps> Frightening! Do you think he's the president of the country? Yeah. But those are his security forces. Well, perhaps. Do you think the U.S. is meddling in Venezuela? Is it meddling? Um, yeah. yeah. Both, both, both sides, sides are meddling. Good meddling is what you're saying. I mean, you should have a good man or not. Have you any comment on the situation in Venezuela? Oh, goodness gracious. Just, um, as far as Venezuela is concerned, I think they did have a coup down there. Yeah. So, but what I'd like to say, yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. My handlers are telling me not to answer this question, and they're pulling me, pulling me away. That's what you see a lot right here in this video. They're handlers. They all have their handlers. And to me, when you have something like that happen, you begin to do something about it, I'm so sorry, I gotta get Okay, thanks. Would I classify it as a coup? What happened? I wouldn't classify it as a coup. Well, well, how would you classify it? I'll tell you what, I'd rather, I'd rather be interviewed from a position of, of, of fact rather than innuendo or opinion, especially since I just missed the briefing, which was just a couple hours ago. Do you think the U.S. is meddling in Venezuela's political system? I think it, we're just supporting the people and supporting what they are deciding to, needs to be, needs to happen. And so I think that's good for us since we are the bastion of freedom. <laughs> <laughs> we are the bastion of freedom. Do you know, I get a lot of comments from people who don't live in the United States, and they're not American. And wow, they're like, what the hell are you guys doing there, man? Um, and the world is laughing at us. We're a joke. We are such a joke. We are not the bastion of freedom. We're losing our freedoms left and right. Every single day, I think the Venezuelan people have more freedom than Americans do. But this is your Republican uh, congressional representative from Missouri. Um, to speak up and support other people around the world who are uh, crying for freedom as well. Oh, yeah, we're so good. We're going to support those people who are crying for freedom. Did you see anybody crying? Did you see anybody crying? No. no. Okay. okay. Ganache. Ganache. No. What do you, what do you, what do you, what do you guys, guys want? No. And go to, if you don't know the Gray Zone, go to the channel. Lots of videos with him in Venezuela. He's pointing out, hmm, what mainstream media is reporting. Oh, you don't think it's so true. No, it's not. Well, this one, man. And we need to protect the Mamma Kishi. Yeah. 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 Do you think Trump is running a coup there? Do you think John Bolton and Rubio are running a coup? No, I don't. I, 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 no, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. But, you know, Maduro is awful. And yes, this is what she says. Do you think what's happening there is a coup? Well, he asks others and then goes back to her. Uh, this is a woman, I think I said that she represented New Yorkers. No. Connecticut. Okay, well, she does not know what the hell she's talking about. And you guys 
who are represented by her, you guys in Connecticut, man, you should be calling this woman and saying, could you please at least appear to be intelligent? Wow. All right, this is a very good video, a visit to shadowy air. 21 company accused of arming Venezuelan insurgency. Yes, running guns and weapons down to Venezuela. Uh, gray zone again. This is investigative journalism. What you see on mainstream media is no longer investigative journalism. This is investigative journalism. Venezuelan authorities discover a secret cache of weapons and equipment on board a Boeing 767. The shipment includes 19 assault weapons and 90 military grade radio antennas. Um, this is a shadowy air cargo company accused of ferrying those arms to Venezuela. Yeah. So what was found out was this Air 21 cargo company suddenly started making trips uh, down to Venezuela or uh, Colombia uh, once a day. Wow. Why? Oh, because they're bringing weapons down and uh, connections, you know, to CIA, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Well, Venezuela expelled German ambassador for meddling. Uh, if I were the president of a country and I was trying to protect my sovereignty, I would get rid of those who are meddling. Um, an American journalist detained in Venezuela. No one has heard from him. <gasps> oh, wait. He was very uh, soon after. No one has heard from him. Released released. He was detained in Venezuela. Maduro is a murderous thug. He's a goon killing people. Released. I want so much. I want so much to be living in a country where at least the majority regarded the truth as something really important. And unfortunately, that is not the case. Don't forget the 16th, Washington, D.C., the 9th, San Francisco.